Okay, now, but I use this mil spec CLP, brake fee mil spec CLP. That's what I use to clean. But I also add a little bit of hops gun oil because it just, I just prefer a little, my, my guns to be a little more moist. Uh, again, this is just the way I do it. Um, disclaimer, um, I'm not a Glock armor, but it's the way I do it. Um, and I haven't had a fail since. Good old toothbrush, Give myself a cup, clean it out a bit. Squirt a little bit in there, not too much. Not that much is good. Go and start, I just brush it lightly on there. I'm not trying to clean it yet, I'm just trying to let the, trying to let the oil sink in there. Hold that cup. So I'm not, brushing hard, I'm just spreading it around. Again, this is just the way I do it. If you have a reliable comment, go ahead and leave a comment down in the comment section below. Thank you. Put that upside down so it doesn't go into the um, firing pin housing area. I get this breech, chamber breech. Clean. This is where a lot of uh, the gunk comes out, right here too. Just the ejection area where all the, the good stuff happened, right here. So I'll put a little extra right there. Just kind of here. Dirty. Let that sit for a bit. Be right back. All right, so I use the uh, supplied uh, Glock brush. It's, it's actually nicer than most of the, um, the ones you get in the kits. I'll get in here for the chamber first. I'll get that duct in there. I'm sorry, for the barrel. I'll get that loose up in there. Let that sit for a bit. So I'm gonna go, and now I'm gonna go back at it, rub it down pretty good. Starting to break apart here. Then I wipe it down. Just use an old rag, wipe it all down. Excuse me, Mr. Rewind Randy. CLP off. It's supposed to be a cleaner lubricant and a preservative, but I like to add a little more lubricant at the end. I'll show you where I where I do that. So just a quick wipe. Here's the flat surface. Polymer pick. And I just kind of surround there. Just kind of get inside there. Need some square square wipes. That's it. 
the, the barrel, I put this sucker like this. I wipe it through one way. Give me another fresh square. Wipe it again. I just do it about twice. See that? back the way we took it apart. Okay. And I always like to be careful because I've seen a lot of people do this. When I put it back together, I put it in down and watch out for this uh, injector. Um, it, it tends to hit the um, slide cover plate and I just don't like to have a ugly gun so I don't want it to hit like that so I you can move it just a tad to clear, pull all the way back, and you're ready to go. Move the lube around just a tad. I keep everything stocked pretty much except for the sights and the light, but that's from my everyday carry. All right, thanks for watching. Stay reliable.